Let's uh, start our next lecture from the unit second. Okay, last time we have discussed the how to solve the problem related with the n queens, and uh, in that we have seen the real uh, generalization of the n queens as a uh, solution to the four queens problem uh, using the constraint satisfaction approach. Okay. so today also we will discuss some of the things related with the constant satisfaction ma uh, yes soma se yes soma se mayur what is your name soma se any problem nahi sir sukun zala sir sorry oh, okay so today also we will discuss some of the things related with the constant satisfaction and uh, some of the types of the constant satisfaction problems or the approach and uh, what is the back tracking approach and uh, what are its uh, disadvantages and how we can how we can recover from the um, disadvantages of disadvantages of the back tracking so these are the some contents that today we will discuss so uh, first we will discuss what exactly is the need of constant satisfaction approach okay last time we have solved the n queens problem okay that is the four queens problem using the constant satisfaction approach okay now can you can you tell me what is the need of the constant satisfaction approach if you don't use the constraint satisfaction approach what will be the effect on the solution and what will be the effect on the uh, particular problem to be get solved now here uh, here i have uh, drawn this is a problem that last time we have solved okay and related to that problem here i have drawn some tree yes all of you can observe Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. And uh, what I want to ask you: If we don't use the constant satisfaction approach, then how will solve the n queens problem or how will solve the four queens problem? Will it be a soluble, or if it is a soluble, then uh, what we have to perform? Uh, what will be its uh, complexity? Uh, how its uh, tree will be look like just like i have drawn here the tree of the the previous problem that we have solved that is the four queens problem understood now what i want to ask you what if we don't use the constant satisfaction approach what will be its effect yes in short what is the need of the constant satisfaction approach think related with the n queens problem so in n q problem there are some rules mm. that's why we uh, support the constant satisfaction what, satisfaction what what rules are problem. there uh, there are uh, rules are uh, the one queen are not in same uh, that are the constant problem. constant or the rules correct yes what i am asking if you don't use the constant satisfaction then then the rule will come there no, no. if you are why the rules are coming there because you, you are using which approach constant satisfaction constant, satisfaction the constants are coming there because you are using the constant satisfaction approach my question is what if you don't use the constant satisfaction approach how it will affect on the solution of problem that is my question if you don't use the constant satisfaction approach the tree to solve this particular problem the tree that will be formed after solving this particular problem will be same like this 
और डिफरेंट इफ यू यूज द कंस्टेंट सेटिस्फेक्शन अप्रोच एंड इफ यू डोंट यूज द कंस्टेंट सेटिस्फेक्शन अप्रोच you have to think like there are the no constraint available and you have to solve the four queens problem you have to place the queen in such a way hmm sir the back tracking nahi hona na un dikhne back tracking hona na hai okay then par mata ansa the attack hui lek mitan var ha then जाऊन तो प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व करू की नहीं सॉल्व 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 टाइम इफ यू डोंट यूज द कंस्टेंट दट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द कंस्टेंट सैटिस्फैक्शन अप्रोच द टाइम रिक्वायर्ड टू सॉल्व दैट प्रॉब्लम विल बी लेस और मोर More. More. How? Yes. Because there you are not using any kind of rules to place the queens. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So you will go on placing the queens randomly. Yes. Understood. And mm -hmm. there are the chances of getting the solution, but the complexity of that particular solution will be huge. Yes or no? Yes. Sir. the tree that will form that will be also very huge because in that case you have to try the all the possible situation there yes, yes. or no yes sir here because of applying the constraint what benefit we are getting we know that the one row have one queen we, and one column we are one. we are applying some constraint for the benefit yes. of how we can solve the problem within a some less amount of time yes or no yes sir we are applying the constraint and applying that constraint reduces the number of possible option that we have to check yes or no yes sir we are applying the constraint and some rules that giving us some kind of direction to solve the problem yes that is a very important statement applying the constraint giving us the some kind of direction to solve that problem yes or no yes sir and yes. that is nothing that is the need of the constraint satisfaction approach you got the point you got the point why there is a need of the constraint satisfaction approach yes sir okay yes. so such kind of question might be asked so that's why we just discuss this point why there is a need of the constraint satisfaction because constraint satisfaction help us to solve such kind of problem if you don't apply the constraint then it is very difficult to solve that kind of problems but if you apply the constraint if you apply some rules then we restrict the complexity of that problem and we can get the solution within some finite set of within within some finite number of steps and that example last time we have still uh, studied that is the example of four queens problem where we have utilized the which technique back tracking technique we have utilized okay now today also uh, some sample uh, example uh, we are going to discuss which is being asked in the exam number of times for the four marks or the two marks also it can be asked that is the map coloring problem which is same like the graph coloring problem that last time we have discussed given the map of the some country okay and we have given the fixed set of colors and we have to ask assign the color to each region of that map in such a way that <clears throat> no two adjacent regions have the same color that all of you know these things okay same like the graph coloring but here uh, uh, just i have we have taken the name of the different regions of that country okay name like uh, uh, we have in short i have written w a n t q n s w v s a and t so these are the regions that we have to color got the point and these are that uh, uh, we are referring all these as what variables i hope you are remembering the what is meaning by the variable okay and we have the domain given so what should be the domain the given required color yes or no 
Yes. So domain we have given the red, green, red, green, blue. Using this color, we have to uh, uh, color all these region. And important thing, the constraint is given. What is the constraint given? The adjacent region must have a different color. Okay, got the constraint? What adjacent regions must have what different color? For example, for example, W A and the N T are the adjacent regions. They are the neighbors of each other. Okay, then they should not have the same color that I have written like this. Understood this? Constraint understood. Constraint given for yes, the sir. map coloring problem. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Now, and here a simple sample solution we have given. So in this example, we have the variable like this. Like W A, as I told you, it is the name given to the certain region of country Australia. So W A stand for the West Australia, then Northern Territory as a N T, Queensland as a Q, then uh, N S W as a New South Wales, and uh, South Australia S A for the South Australia, and the T for the Tasmania. So these are the regions we have to color, and given uh, value as a part of the domain. Are nothing but the red, green, blue, and the constraint given the adjacent region must have the different color. Okay. Now here you can see the W A and N T. These are the adjacent to each other. Yes. Yes, sir. Can we give the same color to this region and this region? No. 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 Understood. Now, for example. now we let's we try to uh, okay color this suppose we give the red to this region okay we give the red to this region then uh, suppose we give the green here can we give the green here yes yes, yes. it is satisfying the constraint and then we give the suppose uh, red green blue here can you give the blue here yes sir yes then what color we should give here now is there any color remain no no means our solution getting failure yes then what we have to do we can change the color sir means you need to go back back now you need to backtrack yes, backtrack yes understood backtrack. yes sir in so when you are using the constraint satisfaction approach now it is a compulsory required that we we are we have to use the backtracking technique understood yes or no we have to use the backtracking technique because somewhere if uh, if it is not possible somewhere when you are solving that problem and somewhere it is not possible to get the solution somewhere there is a confliction occur here confliction occur conflict conflict is occurring here at this point yes or no yes. so when the conflict conflict is occurring at some point at that point we have to stop and then we have to go back you need to back track and again check the different option try to match with with the constraint and then go on until you find the solution this process continue yes or no yes sir okay so that what i am trying to tell you we need to we need to utilize the backtracking approach and because of the utilization of backtracking what is happening the time consumption is more yes or no yes because when we are we are we are reaching to the certain point and then again we have to go back and check the another part and like this kind of things so if you if you just uh, observe our previous example that we have solved that is what Four queens problem we have solved. Now number of times we have backtrack there. Yes or no? Yes, sir. So yes, because sir. of that, what is happening? The time consumption is very much. Yes or no? Time consumption is very much. So in order to make the constraint satisfaction approach more efficient, listen carefully. In order to make the constraint satisfaction approach more efficient. what changes we can do what changes we can do do you understand the question what i am asking in order to make the constraint satisfaction approach more efficient more efficient in the sense 
you should solve the problem within a less time yes or no yes sir so what i am asking you know to make the constraint satisfaction approach more efficient we need to make back tracking technique more efficient yes or no yes sir you are getting my point you need to make the back tracking technique more efficient in the sense we have to reduce the number of back track that we are performing all of you agree yes sir if you want to increase the efficiency of the constraint satisfaction approach you need to increase the efficiency of the back tracking approach and you need to increase the efficiency of the back tracking approach we need to decrease what number of back track that we are performing yes or no what we have to decrease number of back track that we are performing all of you agree yes when the back tracking efficiency will increase when the back tracking steps will increase or decrease yes Yes, all of you can hear me. Yes, sir. I yes, think sir. we have lost the connection. Okay, that's fine. Okay, all of you can see the screen. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. What, what I am asking, if you want to increase the efficiency of constraint satisfaction approach, what we have to do? Yes. Reduce the back tracking, sir. Reduce. You need to reduce the number of back track that you are performing when you are solving the problem. Then yes. what will happen? Back the uh, efficiency of that back tracking technique will improve, and uh, directly the if the back tracking technique efficiency improve, then definitely the constraint satisfaction approach efficiency will also improve. Understood. So in the next part of this lecture, we are going to see that see that uh, how this can be done. so here as we have seen when you try to solve this problem we are getting stuck in at this point and again you need to back track and try to solve this problem in another way suppose now see now if you choose the red for the wa suppose consider we have back track now we consider the red for the wa then we consider the green for the nt okay and then again we consider the red for the queensland can we consider the red for the queensland yes sir yes sir okay. then suppose we consider green for the nsw can we consider the green for nsw yes sir yes sir then we consider red for the victoria can we give the red here yes sir. yes sir then mm. we consider the blue for the southern australia south australia yes 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 sir is there any conflict they are uh, that you are observing no sir no means what we have reached to the solution but in order to reach to this solution you can see we are, we might have to backtrack number of times yes or no just like uh, after uh, first uh, after applying the first option we again backtrack and we try this one yes or no yes sir so what we need we need to improve the backtracking now backtracking has to be performed there is a no solution okay if you are, if you try to try the constant satisfaction approach backtracking has to perform but what we have, what we have to do we have to reduce the number of backtracking steps understood that is nothing but our next point of discussion now in this way this uh, map coloring problem can be get solved now one region is remain that is the tasmania now which color can i give i can give any color to this because it is not attached to this map yes or no there is no link between this and this part yes or no see here yes sir so i can give any color to this particular part doesn't matter okay so in this way you can solve this map coloring problem using the 
constraint satisfaction approach that was our first point where we have discussed why there is a need of the constraint satisfaction approach and then secondly we have uh, discussed the uh, how to solve the map coloring problem okay using the backtracking approach and now next question is the varieties of the csp uh, which simply is nothing but the different types of the constraint satisfaction problem or the approach based on a uh, combination of the variables and the domains number of times already we have discussed what is meant by the variables and the domains now suppose so based on that there is a first uh, varieties of csp constraint satisfaction problem that is the discrete variable and the finite domain so in that discrete variable and the finite domain is also called as the boolean csp what boolean csp and why it is called the boolean csp because here the values of the domain that we are going to utilize are boolean why it is called the boolean csp because the values of the domains are consist of what the boolean boolean in the sense true or false yes or no yes sir so that is the reason this is the first kind type of the constant satisfaction problem is referred as the discrete variable with the finite domain as a boolean csp okay so any variable in the csp constant satisfaction problem uh any to the any variable we can set its value either true or either false not no value either than this can be utilized to put in such kind of variables and that is the reason this kind of csp is called as of the boolean csp okay second we have the discrete variable and the infinite domain what discrete variables and the infinite domain just like here as we have discussed the domain values are just the boolean like true or false in case of the this second type discrete variable and the infinite domains domains values are the integers mostly integers and the strings just like here we have taken here the domains values are what strings yes or no yes sir so second type is uh, discrete variables and the infinite domain infinite domain in the sense we can use the any range of the integer there you got the point as a value we can utilize the any range of the integer starting from the zero up to the infinite understood so that is the discrete second type discrete variable and the infinite domain so any variable in the csp you can set it to the range of values of the integer so these are the main two types of the uh csp based on the combination of uh, variable and uh, kind of value that you put in that particular variable that is the domain okay next we have the types of the constraint okay types of the constraint here first type is the unary constraint unary in the sense what do you mean by the unary unary single. single so when there is a involvement of the single variable only when there is a involvement of the single variable then that comes under the which constraint unary constraint for example apan je ata example baghitla map coloring cha tyachyamadhe sa sa was that is the southern australia was one of our variable yes or no ती व्हेरिएबल आपण जातो प्रॉब्लेम सॉल्व केला त्याच्यामध्ये एस ए नावाचा एक व्हेरिएबल होता बरोबर सो इफ यू आर देर इज अ ओनली वन व्हेरिएबल विच यू आर डिलिंग देन दॅट कम्स अंडर द विच कन्स्टेंट युनरी कन्स्टेंट ओके वेन देर आर द टू कन्स्टेंट सॉरी देर आर द टू व्हेरिएबल्स वेन देर आर द इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ द पेअर ऑफ व्हेरिएबल लाईक हिअर वी हॅव द एस ए अँड द फॉर एक्झाम्पल डब्ल्यू ए W. then that comes under the which constraint binary constraint when there are the three or more than three what when there are the three or more than three variables that comes under the higher order constraint so two marks question can be asked on this the varieties of the csp and the what varieties of the constraint there uh, you can have this simple uh, discussion okay now let's come to the third point of today that is the back tracking which already we have discussed in the example also and uh, 
what is backtracking that also all of you know what is backtracking is nothing but the general algorithm to find the solution for some computational problem notable the constants for example just we have utilized the backtracking for which problems constant satisfaction problem that incrementally build the candidates to the solution means we go on finding the solution what we go on finding the solution and at certain point we stop what at certain point we stop that is here i have written at certain point we abandon a candidate means at certain point we stop and we backtrack and we, what we do and we backtrack when we backtrack when we when we see that at certain point our constraints are not getting satisfied okay. at that point we do what we do backtrack you got the point because when you find the conflict at certain point it means that we cannot get the complete and the valid solution if you still go on moving further yes or no so at the point when you find there is a conflict at the point when you find our constraints are not getting satisfied at that point we do what we do the backtracking understood and this process continue until what until we find our final solution so that is the concept of the backtracking that already we have uh, seen in the seen with the example also okay understood this point yes backtracking yes, sir. okay yes sir now in the example also we seen that in when you try to solve the problem using the constant satisfaction approach you start from the initial state and the initial state is what the empty assignment no, nothing is assigned to the any variable so that is the initial state then when we go on solving the problem okay that is the with the help of the successor function successor function is nothing but what uh, assigning the value to an assign variable that does not conflict with the current assignment okay that is the successor function understood when we go on assigning the value to the sum an assign variable where when you assigning the value to the an assign variable it should satisfy what it should satisfy the constraint okay that is nothing but the successor function assigning the value to the unassigned variable and it should not conflict while you uh, making the assignment and if it is conflicting then we can say we are failing at that point and then we need to backtrack so that is the successor function and finally the third uh, step is nothing but the checking every time when we are whether we are reaching to the goal goal state or not that is the testing okay when the required assignment is complete when required assignment will complete when we can reach to the our final state or to the our final goal okay so this is the back tracking and uh, different kind of steps that we uh, apply in the back tracking now come to the point of the drawbacks of the back tracking that also we have discussed what are the drawbacks of the back tracking one of the major drawback is nothing but back tracking have to perform the redundant work now tell me what do you mean by this when you use the back tracking technique we have to perform the redundant work means what what do you mean by the redundant work maybe the garrison asal te apan karto mhanje te work technique even if something is not required then also we are doing mm -hmm. that and we are doing that yes. same thing again and again got the yes. point so that is the one of the drawback of the back tracking second is what second is this finally uh, the basic back tracking algorithm still detect the conflict too late and it is not possible to detect the conflict before the conflict really occurs means what in short back tracking algorithm detect the conflict too late means what Hmm. What do you mean by the detecting the detecting the conflict too late? Yes. Conflict means what here? Conflict. Confusion. 
in case of the uh, n queens problem conflict occur where when uh, the certain constraint is not satisfying yes or no yes so what do you mean by the backtracking algorithm detects the conflict too late this is the one of the drawback of the backtracking now what do you mean by this बैकट्रैकिंग टेक्निक ने अपने कन्फ्लिक्ट होने अगोदर महत्ति पड़ते का कैन वी नो बिफोर ऑकरिंग द कन्फ्लिक्ट नो वी आर वी वी ओनली कम टू नो ओनली वेन यू परफॉर्म सर्टन स्टेप यस और नो यस दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ वॉट द बैक ट्रैकिंग आल गुड डिटेक द कन्फ्लिक्ट टू लेट means it is not able to detect the conflict before the conflict really occurs constraint satisfy honacha agodar aplyala kayala pahije ki conflict purcha step madhe conflict hoil ki nahi asa aplyala it should happen yes or no yes pan back tracking use karun tasa hote ka no nahi apan actually when you are performing the steps and when we come to when we perform the steps and then at the steps when you come to know now two queens are attacking each other then we are going back track then we are back tracking yes or no yes, and that is the that is another this disadvantage the back tracking algorithm still detect the conflict too late we can't uh, able to detect the problem before it is being occurred we can't able to detect uh the particular what you can say the conflict as early as possible and now what we want to do the such kind of drawbacks we need to reduce we cannot uh, reduce these particular uh, drawbacks completely but we can reduce them in some sort we can reduce them in some sort in the sense how we can reduce it by reducing the number of backtracks number of backtracks that we are performing if that number of backtracks get reduced then definitely our backtracking technique efficiency will increase or decrease increase increase so that is our main aim next that is the point of our discussion how we can decrease the number of backtracks while you are solving some problem using constraint satisfaction approach and there are the some techniques are there okay there are some techniques using which we can reduce the number of backtracks okay there are some technique using which we can reduce the number of backtracks okay this is the example that already we have discussed ki suppose you try to uh, assign the color to the different graph regions like these okay and we go on assign the colors okay next steps we assign like these but okay and again we go forward but if you see at this point at this point is it possible to color this region this region no no, no. means you need to backtrack like this and what we want we need to reduce this number of backtracks that is our main aim so that the efficiency can be get increase increase and related to the same thing there are some techniques okay and that techniques are depends on what now when you are solving the problem for example n queens every time what we are doing we are trying to put some value in some variable yes or no in case of the n queens what was our value and what was our variables four queens problem that we mm. have solved our uh, values are what domains are what domain e sorry q q and the variables are not that 4 by 4 chess board 4 by chess board places yes. of that chess board so yes. these techniques are depends on how you assign the value to the different variables what these techniques are based on what how you assign the value to the particular variable or how you choose the particular variable to assign the values you got the point these techniques are what based on what how you assign this value to the variables or how you choose this variable to assign the values okay so base if some decide if you decide on this on this particular point 
based on that there are certain techniques are been uh, developed okay which are being referred as techniques to improve the backtracking efficiency here you can see improving the backtracking efficiency now as i said this technique is based on these particular things related with assigning value to the some variable now related to this there are some techniques okay and that techniques we are going to discuss in the next lecture but that techniques is being developed by asking such kind of question see here this efficiency increase technique of the back tracking are developed based on asking such kind of question for example first question is what which variable should be assigned next what as i said these techniques are based on what techniques are based on the choice of assignment of value to the variable or choosing the variable for the value so by answering the such kind of question there are the techniques are possible that we are going to see next time but let's see the what questions is there related with the uh, improving the efficiency of the back tracking so for example first first question that we have here that is the which variable should be assigned next means just like we are having this kind of chess board okay now if you see the example we have directly started assigning the variable from the first yes or no yes zero position barobar na tar what you know to improve the back tracking efficiency what technique we are having before choosing the variable you must ask question which variable should be assigned next instead of randomly assigning the value to the variable or instead of randomly choosing the variable the question was we asked like what which variable should be assigned next so that the number of back tracks can be reduced got the point yes sir which variable yes, we should we should choose next so that number of back tracks can be reduced and based on this question based on this question there are the two techniques are available okay that we are going to discuss in the next lecture in that first technique is what most constrained variable and second technique is what most constraining variable you just keep in mind this tomorrow we are okay so the question which gives us two techniques which question the which variable we should choose next for assigning the values related with this question there are the two techniques which are that first is what most constrained variable and second is what most constraining variable okay details tomorrow we will discuss in similar way second question also gives you the another technique you know to improve the back tracking efficiency that second question is what in what order should its value be try now second question is related with the value first was related with the variable yes or no yes sir what is the second question in what order should its value be try for example now related with the related with the map coloring how many values we are having Four by four. Values, values related with the map coloring. Map coloring. How many values we are having? Domain. Three. Three. That was the red. Yes. Green and Anything. blue. Whatever. Question is yes. what? See the question is what? See what is the question? Yes. What order should it be? In what order it should its value be try? Manja kai. Try. Means what? Konta color adi kai sir. Baroba. Which color first will be get choose? Whether red, whether green, green. or whether, whether blue. Blue. Instead of randomly taking the any colors, what is what the question is saying? You must think ki which color must be choose first. by keeping in mind what by keeping in mind what the back tracking will be get reduced got the point yes yes sir 
and related with this strategy we have the technique that is the third that is the least constraining value what is that least constraining value now these techniques will help us in choosing the value among the all possible value from the domain 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 madhe ja kay values ahet tyachya madli kutli value choose karaychi that we can choose with the help of this third technique that is what least constraining value okay that is the third technique which is being we are getting with the help of the this question in what order should its value be try so in which order according to the order being decided by this particular technique that is the least constraining value which variable to choose first that is based on these two techniques the most constraining variable and second is what most uh, sorry most first is the most constrained variable and second is what most most constraining variable and last one is there last question related with the improvement in the efficiency of the back tracking process that is can we detect the inevitable failure third question is what can we detect inevitable failure early means what inevitable failure नो माहिती असणारा की जो पुढे जाऊन आपण तिथं फेल होणार आहे यु आर गेटिंग माय पॉईंट की वेन यू गो ऑन सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लेम ऍट सम पॉईंट इन द फ्युचर वी आर गोइंग टू फेल ऍट सर्टन पॉईंट यु आर गेटिंग माय पॉईंट तर तो असा पॉईंट आपल्याला अगोदरच माहिती पडू शकतो का दॅट इज रिलेटेड विथ दिस दॅट इज नथिंग बट दिस थर्ड क्वेश्चन अँड इफ वी नो दिस थिंग्स then back tracking steps will be increase or decrease 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 and related to the answer to this question we have the two strategies forward checking and constraint propagation related to the question uh, related to the answer to this question which will improve the back tracking efficiency we have the two strategies or the technique first is what forward, forward checking to. and second is what constraint, constraint propagation. propagation understood so if you ask this three question and answer to this question are nothing but this five techniques that i just told you first was the most constrained variable then second is the most constraining variable third is the least constraining value fourth is the forward checking and last is what constraint propagation. propagation if these techniques are being follow while you are solving some problem using the constraint satisfaction approach where there is a utilization of back tracking technique when you are doing all this if these five techniques are follow then it be it can be become possible to reduce the number of back track and that is nothing but the improving the efficiency of the back tracking technique got the point yes. now how these techniques are work okay with example that tomorrow we are going to see understood yes. all of you understood these three questions and the answer to these three question are these five techniques yes yes sir yes sir okay so tomorrow we'll discuss about these techniques techniques to improve okay. the back tracking efficiency okay so that's it for the today's lecture okay okay thank you sir so we are stopping here thank you all of you thank you thank you sir, thank you, sir.